Join this good old boy loving life by off-roading and back roads exploring one trail at a time. So get on in and buckle up, because we're getting ready to roll. All right, everybody, so this is a different episode. We're gonna do some back road stomping, but not in Florida. We're gonna do it elsewhere. We're going to Winrock Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee, and we're gonna be very laid back. T-shirts, glasses, the beard's coming undone, and we're gonna have a lot of special guests on this show. Here we go. Let's say you just went down that hill. There's no tree around here. This is a Jeep with a winch. This is a Jeep with a winch. A third Jeep, I can run a line straight down. I can put this center anywhere I want it. Does that make sense? Ideally, I would want two Jeeps and a third that way, and one coming this way, and it's facing downhill, pulling someone back up. Or, if you thank you if you just went down the side and you're off the side of this road right here if you keep pulling it's just going to keep pulling you along that ledge right if i can get this to the back of my jeep and it's next to your jeep as you pull forward this is going to start coming around and you can run a secondary line to about your mid side on your jeep again this is an advanced pull but that's why you carry all this different kinds of gear I will be tuning in throughout this nice adventure. Um, coming up later, I will be stopping at this restaurant in Tucker, Georgia called Old Hickory House. And it was the restaurant chain that was used in the movie Smokey and the Bandit, the famous Diablo sandwich scene. It's not the actual location that has been torn down but it is the same restaurant chain and they do have on their menu the Diablo sandwich. Never had the official Diablo sandwich. And bless my wife's heart, she has heard me talk about this sandwich at this restaurant for about a year. I get to try it today. <laughs> Hey everybody, just want to let you know we, uh, we're stopping for our first gas break in Jasper and uh, everything's going along smoothly except for I had to go to a second gas station because the pilot didn't want to take my, uh, my car and I don't know why. But anyway, um, I think everybody's wanting to stop for some McDonald's or Burger King. But um, in my personal life, I'm doing the lifestyle change and eating right and all that stuff. So I'm going to eat what, uh, what I packed. So stay tuned with us. There is the Florida Georgia State Line. Thank you for visiting Florida. We are now in Georgia. Georgia on my mind. Woo! Welcome to Georgia. Oh, you in Georgia Beach? You glad Georgia's on your mind? All right, everybody, I've been talking about this restaurant for a whole year. I grew up watching Smokey and the Bandit every weekend. The famous scene where Jackie Gleason and Burt Reynolds playing Sheriff Buford T. Justice and the Bandit was filmed at an old Hickory house. 
Now it wasn't this location. That location has now been torn down. Why I want to check this location out, this restaurant, it's because of that sandwich that Buford T ate called the Diablo sandwich and he ordered a Dr. Pepper. So just recently I found out that they finally added it to the menu. Now there's been many interpretations of what that is. It could have been a spicy sloppy joe, a spicy cut chopped brisket sandwich, all on a bun. And we're gonna see what their interpretation of it is at the actual restaurant chain that they filmed that scene at, as they called it, the choke and puke. Let's go on inside. I can tell you right now, it smells very good out here. All right, so we're inside. It's a nice atmosphere. It's packed. It smells really good. And we're gonna wait for a table. And Liz won't let me film her. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and order this sandwich and this drink, and we're gonna recreate the scene from 43 years ago that Jackie Gleason did. Give me a Diablo sandwich and a Dr. Pepper and make it fast. I'm gonna hurry. We got that, absolutely. All right. Here it is, Diablo sandwich. I did get it with fries, so. Fries are good. Now, it, um, it's chopped pork with some kind of a hot sauce and a pickle. And here we go. Driving through people's backyard, <laughs> knocking down mailboxes. Got a broad in the car. And that's kidnapping. How's that? This is hot. This is hot. Good God, this is hot. This is hot. Where's the can? I gotta take a squirt. Now all that's from the movie. So you young kids who haven't seen Smoking the Bandit, go get it, go rent it, go buy it. That is hot. That's very good though. Woo! All right, everybody, we're leaving. And um, I gotta say, you know, that was a really good sandwich. Everyone got some good, something really good. And um, <clears throat> it was very hot, very hot sandwich. And uh, I, I went off the, uh, the diet there, you know, getting a Mr. Pibb. They didn't have Dr. Pepper and got some fries. So uh, we're gonna get back on the road and make our way to Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Morning, everybody. I uh, just want to say happy Monday to everybody. Um, for all those who came up to Windrock yesterday, um, welcome. Welcome to Windrock. For those who are coming up this morning, continue your safe travels. Um, we are leaving here in a few minutes to head right over there. We're going to meet everybody over there at the pavilion, at the campground. Sorry, not the campground, but the general store. And we're going to start some days of ex some excursions. And um, we're going to have a beautiful day. It's very cool out here. It's not cold. I actually broke out in a little sweat here. But um, just, you can't say anything different about 
this scenery. And if you look across the way, hey, mayors, you're live on Saturday Night Live. So, anyway, um, beautiful place. And, and, you know, again, for you, uh, the members who couldn't make it, I suggest you come up here at some point because it's, it's beautiful. And um, I'll keep checking in all day long, all throughout the week with uh, the actual event and let you guys know how we're doing and who's scared and who's having fun. And that's it. Anyway, stop on, brothers. All right, everybody. So we're in the parking lot of Our Holiness. And uh, we had to ask for forgiveness because we needed to take a little bit of a pee break. And yes, Tammy, that's staying in the show. So um, it wouldn't be a typical uh, Florida Trail Stomper Brian Derry adventure if uh, we either didn't get lost or um, something wasn't closed, right? So we we're going to do today go to Cade's Cove Jeep Depot. Sorry, I keep calling it the Jeep Depot, the outpost. They're closed on Mondays. What's with people closing on Mondays? Like, the Italian pizza shops are closed on Mondays. Nobody like, wants to work on Mondays. Close yeah, Garfield hated Mondays. We're not working. So, anyway. So, Tana wants to go get something to eat. So, we're going to go grab some lunch. And, uh, yeah, we're blaming her. We're yeah, blaming her. My fault. And uh, we're going to go. She's the only one on the diet. <laughs> we're going to go get in some trouble. Try to find something cool. Some beautiful scenery. Something. Waterfalls. So, anyway. Deuces. Got a mean dog there, Tana. Mm -hmm. Hey, everybody. All right, so I'm here with Dan. We're in the parking lot of AutoZone and Oak Ridge, and we're going to do some garage time because I've got to change brake pads on the Vela Golf. Yep. That's some embarrassing stuff when you hear squeaking when you just got to the park. So that's what we're going to do. So we're hoping that the rotors are not shot, even though it's only been doing it for a day, but we know the pads are definitely gone. I don't... So I hear mud, going through mud east at the brake pads. Who, who's, uh, who's the girl with the gold ranger? That's Christy, or Crystal. Um, Crystal. She told me that she her, well, I heard her talking on, uh, on uh, FTS that it like, went through her pads like 7,000 yeah. or something. Yeah, or something. No, it's true. I had Alex Perez tell me that. So that's the pad that was the culprit. All the way down to metal. All the way down to metal. I mean, there's no pad at all. Yeah, that's in bad shape. And this one was really, really thin. Yep. I'm surprised it just started hearing it the way it sounds, looks like there. I know. Dad figured out how to use the tool. Brian and I did not at all. So now this should slide right on. So we push these back a little. Compensate. And thank you to Todd and Tana Crosby for lending us the uh, bottle jack. Oh, we didn't even put our tire under for safety. No, yeah, we didn't put the tire on for safety. So don't do this at home, kids. Do it in the parking lot. A books a million with our overstock sale. Renner Center, Auto Zone available, and Papa John's. With a little bit of Waffle House. You go get the hash browns, you can have scatter and splatter. All right, Dan, or somebody, where's the needle nose? All right, so I want to thank David, and I want to thank Dan for the big help. You're welcome. This was a successful uh, garage time. Uh, as usual, everyone else did about 98, 99% of the work. 
But, I don't uh, know if I tighten your lug nuts enough. Yeah, they're probably okay. Now, here's the thing. We would have been done within probably, what, 20 minutes? I, didn't, I never knew how quickly it was. That's why that's another job that I won't be spending a buttload of money at a dealership. I just learned something new today. So uh, we would have been done a lot quicker, but somehow conversations got off topic, and we were talking about all kinds of historical presidents. See you. So look at here. In the parking lot of um yeah. auto zone homeboy who uh sold me my pads he ducked me and dan so we've been ducked in tennessee it's nice yeah. to get ducked in tennessee it sure is what do you think well i don't know if it's duck or um we're doing a little back road trail riding here at half moon campground we stayed here uh, two years ago and i didn't know this was back here so uh that's yeah, pretty cool it's pretty cool what do you think thanks boys yeah So we're at Nemo Tunnel today, and we bought 17 rigs out here. Warburg. Yeah, but you're doing great. Oh. One more driver. All right, there, you're gonna come over a little, little route. There you go. You're gonna do a little bump, you're gonna do a little bump, 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 bump. I'm gonna hit the pounder. Half a drop right there. Good idea, man. Uh, There's a little root right there. <laughs> Found it. That long wheelbase holds a little bit. Yep. Perfect. There you go. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Making our way out of uh, Nemo Tunnel uh, and, and Warp 
Burke and we're going to be making our way back towards Oliver Springs and we're going to make a stop in um, a drive-by actually a drive-through uh, Frozen Head State Park which is a really cool really cool place to go. You going to be nice to me? Shit! All right, what did everybody think of that? Hey, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. Uh, very cool. WFTS, we're out here reporting live. We're, uh, we caught up with Carl. And uh, Carl, tell us what happened here. Well, it's it's been a rough morning uh, for Carl and, and for the drone, which seemed to have taken out a pigeon and uh, actually cracked a couple of tabs off. But thankfully, the high-end quality of DJI was able to push it back in together. We got some propeller damage. But uh, other than that, it still flies and uh, actually did pretty good. Okay, so um, sir, uh, how'd the pigeon make out? Is he up and walking around? The pigeon without using expletives, isn't really doing so great. Okay, so he's on vacation? Yeah, right. yeah, he's not coming back to us anytime soon. So folks, just like all dogs, pigeons go to heaven too. <laughs> all right, folks, we're live at the scene. We're here, and uh, I was gonna report to you. Let me turn this camera around. Um, camera can't return around. No, no way, that's no, camera. that's an old pigeon. Oh, that's an old one. Sir, we're gonna get you out of here real quick. We're gonna make sure PETA doesn't come over here and show up. Oh, PETA, yeah, good. All right, we're leaving out of the Nemo Tunnel area, and we're headed across the street over to the little park. It's got a nice little bridge and sits on the river, and um, take some photos over there, get some video. Very, very beautiful up here in Tennessee. And um, again, everyone's having a great time. We're now over here at the cross the street from the Nemo Tunnel at Obed Wild and Scenic River. And um, it's, it's plenty of room for all of us to park. And just can't say nothing much about it. Shit, I didn't even walk up there last year.
All right, so uh, we are spending another day traveling around and experiencing uh, Tennessee uh, before the actual Stop the Rock event. And today we are at Cades Cove Jeep Outpost. And I think Dustin here got a little freaked out. I saw it in his face because I brought 18, no, not 18, uh, 12 or 13 vehicles. And every vehicle's got a lot of people in it. But we stimulated the economy. There's Bonnie. Birthday girl. Tomorrow's her birthday. Woo! So, anyway, um, we're going to be leaving out of here in a few minutes, and we're going to drive into Cades Cove. Cades Cove is an old historic um, piece that's in the, uh, between the Smoky Mountains, and um, settlers from, like, the 1700s went there, lived there. There were some fights and massacres between the Cherokees and uh, the settlers. And uh, so there's some old homesteads back there, some, some nice looking stuff. And this the drive is very beautiful. It could take up to four hours, but there is a halfway point where you can cut across and come out. And then we're going to see what we're going to be doing the rest of the day. It's been a fun trip so far. Seeing this type of landscape is, uh, it's really different. You know, when we're down in Florida, it's, everything's the same. All the seasons are the same. It's always pretty much a constant temperature, except for those one or two moments uh, out of the year. But um, just driving through here, I, I really love it. It's just, I'm at peace. Uh, it's like a part of my heart is here. I know I have some family heritage here, but just driving through very slow, taking my time and just relax and soaking it all in, you, you see you see the, the changing of the leaves. And it's that time of the year that you know fall is upon us and then winter. It's just like a, a complete different piece of nature to experience. Um, everyone up here has a different personality. It's very laid back, it's very home-like and friendly. The environment does the same thing. It's very welcoming. There's this road right here in the mountains, and it just seems like it's magically just widened to welcome us here to go to Cades Cove. So we made it into Cades Cove. There's a little bit of a backup because it's a nice scenic drive. Um, the mountains over here are very beautiful. They're good size. I can see them now. Look at that fog. Oh, Wild turkeys. As my wife says, it's a real Thanksgiving turkey because it's got a wobble. They wobble. What's a wobble? Oh, something on their neck. I thought it was a song. Wobble, wobble. There you go. Look at that. Boy, I want me a smoked turkey sandwich. He was talking to me. What's up, buddy? Just to let y'all know, a historical tidbit, the American bird, the, instead of the bald eagle, was supposed to be a turkey. Benjamin Franklin said that. Dana, you're a horse person, right? It's like an artist painting, colors. Got a lot of earth tones.
I'm getting my exercise in today. What's up, Tana? How you doing up there, girl? I'm fabulous. I have a sermon in the church. Have a sermon. Bless the rhyme. That looks freaky from this angle. It's just like your body's floating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm behind the pulpit, brother. All right, so this is the Cades Co. Primitive. As primitive as can be. That's Gilligan's Island for you young folk. <clears throat> anyway, Cades Co. Primitive Baptist Church, organized on June 16th. 1827. Hi, Dan. Hi, how are you? Good, Dan. What's new, Dan? I'm leaving you, Dan. Bye, Dan. Hey everybody, so we turned off the uh, main road, the scenic loop. We turn on to Hyatt Lane. Um, this traffic is really, really backed up. So, uh, this is really beautiful. With the rain, Dan's big head. Yep. sprinkle shower has not let up so we stopped at this beautiful site in the river or the creek that's the creek I should know it's the creek the creek is flowing very nice and strong everybody just having an awesome time the clubs loving it it's so beautiful up here very beautiful
We would like to thank our promotional partners for their extended support in the production of this series.